people tend to flush their toilets and that's the last they think about their wastewater. However, what has to happen is that it has to flow down a whole network of pipes to, in the city of Regina, the McCarthy Boulevard pump station, which then gets all the sewage from the whole city and then pumps it down a big pipeline to the wastewater treatment plant just west of the arm, west towards the arm of Sherwood. This is a profile of a street. At McCarthy Pump Station, we, we can certainly screen out uh, pieces of wood or leaves and, and toilet paper, things that, are th things that are long and big. McCarthy Pumping Station, which conveys the sewage, it has a fixed capacity. It can only move so much because the pumps are only so big. Now, what we actually have at this current time is McCarthy Pump Station can actually pump more out faster than the collection system can get it there. So in that sense, uh, McCarthy is, is, pretty, is in good shape. What it pumps to the treatment plant is more than the processing units can handle, but what we do is we simply divert it to the lagoons. Then the lagoons, each one in turn removes more and more components. Crosswalk, that is actually supposed to be coming towards you and the oil and floated material will come and get dragged here and then it will move into a scum collector. The, the most effective way of removing solids is by gravity if you can do it. If you have a big quiescent tank, things that can float, they can go up and things that are slightly heavier than water, they can sink. At the end of this facility, we do two other things. One is we add a chemical to remove the phosphorus, which is a cause of algae blooms. And the other one is uh, we have a UV, an ultraviolet disinfection unit, which uh, helps sterilize, kill some of the bacteria, so that its quality coming out from a bacteriological point of view is as safe as a beach. Hi, I'm Laurie Splett and I'm the supervisor of chemists at the lab at the wastewater treatment plant. This is the primary influent. This is what's coming in from McCarthy pump station and it's 99.9% uh, .9 water and this is the raw wastewater that comes from the homes. This is the final effluent. So this is what we're putting back into the creek and this has been sitting for a long time so you can see that the, there's some algae that has also settled out and uh, again this is after the UV plant and you can actually see in there there's Daphnia moving around so that means it's a sign of healthy water. The environmental criteria are going to trigger some needs because the way we're processing it right now we're not able to effectively remove ammonia which is an which comes in your wastewater and that's toxic to fish so by improving the process we'll be able to address that issue but a lot of the other things for example uh, the largest consumer of oxygen is actually the carbon that's put into the waste stream and we do a great job of that already so it's not like what we have is an absolutely terrible thing at all. It's actually quite a, quite a sophisticated and competent plant. It's just that to take that extra step forward, we do need some improved processes, which, by the way, will be more energy efficient, which is another driver for changing processes because the, something that is a little bit different in terms of its energy use might be better in the long run for the taxpayer. And you can see the chart on the end. It's a graph paper with ink and it runs like a clock. This might be the last time in your life you see the chart like that because everything is not digital. When you build something that lasts 20, 30, 40, 50 years, the way you built it back then is not the way we do work today.